Um, we are now just about a half hour away from the opening bell on Wall Street. We want to talk markets. Uh, the Dow crossing a milestone yesterday, closing above 29,000 for the first time and led higher by Apple, United Health, and Goldman Sachs to talk more about the road to Dow 30,000. We're joined by Richard Bernstein, Richard Bernstein Advisors uh, CEO and a CMC contributor, who I don't know, are you, you finally, I mean, I, I feel like I'm going to be like Joe, are you finally okay. bullish? Well, we've been bullish. I mean, our funds are outperforming this year, so so it's fine. I mean, what? That's the that's the only thing that matters, Joe. Is do you outperform or not? Right. And and so we've been outperforming. Well, then you shouldn't come so on and say all the stuff you've been saying no, for no, the no. last year. If now you're going to claim you were Wait. bullish. No, 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 no. Let me finish, please. The point being. Right. Go where ahead. Were we, where were we a year ago? Where were we a year a year and a half ago? Okay. Year ago, year and a half ago, our equ our multi asset funds have a benchmark of fifty percent equities. Okay. Year ago, year and a half ago, five years ago, we were sixty five to seventy five percent equities. Okay. Now we're down to benchmark weight in equities. Okay. And the point that I think people should be thinking about is as you enter the later stages of a bull market, do you buy into that bull market? Or do you sell into that bull market? And, and what, we've just been lightening up as the market keeps going up and up and up, despite fundamentals, which I think most people would agree fundamentals are not booming. Right. So why not sell into that kind of round? Because you are anticipating what? I think um, the question, are, will returns over the next one, two, three, four, five years be as strong as what we've just seen? Okay. And will other asset classes, perhaps gold, let's say, or tips or something like that, will they be more competitive to equities? And I think the answer to that is yes, that they will be. And does that anticipate a recession as part of that? Not necessarily. I mean, I, it doesn't have to. If you look at the valuation of the equity market, you'd have to say it's not cheap. Shouldn't returns be lower if it's not, you know, if it's relatively expensive? Right. And then you look at things like gold. You look at things like tips. You look how people are ignoring certain asset classes like that. And you say, gee, that seems to be a pretty good value. What's the probability of the outperforming stocks over the next one, two, three, four, five years?